In this application, we'll be looking at a percent of decrease. The population of Baytown dropped 12 percent from one year to the next, to a total of 158,400. What was the former population? We'll solve this problem using our five-step problem-solving process, and the first step is to familiarize ourselves with, with the situation. Now, different people will familiarize themselves with this in different ways. I like to draw a diagram whenever I can. The population one year to the next year dropped. Now, which population are we given? Well, we're given the, the second year's population. It says two. It dropped 12 percent from one year to the next to a total of 158,400. So the, the second year's population would be 158,400. Now we know it dropped, so it went down, and it went down 12 percent. But 12 percent of what? Well, let's let P be this population. What do we know about P? First of all, it has to be greater than 158,400. The second thing to notice is that the 12 percent is the 12 percent of the original amount. So this dropped actually 12 percent of P. That's enough information to get us to where we can write an equation, and that's the second step in the process, which is to translate the problem to mathematical language. When we translate this problem to mathematical language, we can think of it in this way. The, let's call it the former population, minus the decrease is, and we can call this the new population. The former population was P, minus the decrease would be 12 percent of P, or 12 percent times P, and that equals the new population, which was 158,400. Now we can move then to our next step in the problem solving process, which is to solve this equation. To solve that equation, we are solving the equation P minus 12 percent times P equals 158,400. Let's write 12 percent as a decimal in order to know how to manipulate this. That's P minus 0 0.12 P equals 158,400. Now we have two terms that contain a P. We need to combine these terms. In order to remember how to combine them, think of this as 1 times P minus 0 0.12 times P. So we have 1 minus 0 0.12 or 0 0.88 P equals 158,400. Dividing both sides by 0 0.88, we get P equals 180,000. And that's the number we want to check in our fourth step. First of all, the former population of 180,000 is more than the second year's population of 158,400. So that's, that doesn't check the answer, but at least we know we're in the right direction. Let's find what 12 percent of 180,000 is. We have 0 0.12 times 180,000. Multiplying that out, we would get 21,600. Now, if we take the former population of 180,000 and we subtract that 12 percent of that, which would be the amount of decrease, 21,600, we would get 158,400, which is, was the population in the next year. So our answer does check, and we can state then that the former population of Baytown was 180,000.